Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to learn how to create a stunning 3D text effect using Photoshop and Adobe Firefly. The fundamental concept behind this 3D effect is simple. First, we need to create a shape or structure. Next, we'll generate a style for our created shape. Lastly, we will generate the final output using our shape and style. So without further ado, let's begin today's tutorial. Let's get started by creating a new document. For this tutorial, I'll create a square document, but you can choose any size you want. Make sure the background color is set to white, then click Create. There are many ways to create a shape in Photoshop. You can paint your shape using a brush tool. Just make sure the shape color is black, so the shape is clearly visible against the white background. You can also use the pen tool to create shapes, or you can use any shape you want, including your custom logo. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use text as a shape. So let's select the text tool and type out some text. Next, select the font you want. For a smooth edge in the final 3D shape, I chose this bold and round font. Place the text in the center and our shape is now ready. We'll save it quickly and I'm going to save it as a JPZ and name it shape or structure, whatever you want. Great, now that we have our shape, the next step is to create a style for our 3D text effect using Adobe Firefly. Open Adobe Firefly and click on the Generate. Here is the text to image workspace where we generate our styles. Before generating a style, we'll need to adjust a few settings. First, go to the general settings. Make sure the model is set to Firefly Image 3. Next, set the aspect ratio to square because we created our shape in a square format. For the content type, select Photo. Scroll down to the bottom and in the effect section, set it to hyper-realistic. Perfect. Now let's write some prompts to generate the style. For example, I'm going to create a green slime ball with studio lighting in a white background. Once you're happy with your prompt, click Generate. Adobe Firefly will produce four images based on your prompt. And there you have it. You've created a unique style for your 3D text effect. Select the one you like best and just download it. I'm going to call it Style and save it for later use. With both our shape and style ready, it's time to create the 3D effect. Now, go back to Adobe Firefly and make sure all the settings remain the same as before. Then go to the Structure section and upload the shape image as a reference. Increase the strength to 100%. Next, scroll down to the Style section and upload the style image that we generated earlier. Ensure the effect is set to hyper-realistic and now click Generate. And there you have it, a beautiful realistic 3D text. Select any of them and download it. You can also change the prompts and play with them for different results. For example, if you want to change the background color, just change the prompt and try again. You'll get a different result. As you can see, our 3D text now has a black background. Additionally, you can change the color and tone as well. I'm going to select a golden color tone. You can also change the lighting. Let's set the lighting to backlighting. I'm also going to rewrite the prompt to change the color of the slime to yellow. Now click Generate and wait for magic to happen. We've successfully created a 3D text effect using Photoshop and Adobe Firefly. Before we end the video, here are some bonus tips for you. Whenever you want to create overlapping 3D text or objects, don't make the entire shape with the same color. This can make the 3D objects look attached to each other. Instead, adjust the colors or lighting slightly to create contrast between each letter. This helps the AI to understand the separation between the letters. Remember, Photoshop is not the only program that can be used to create shapes. You can use any other graphics application to create shapes as well. You can use any style reference, no matter if it's an image you downloaded from the internet or an image you clicked yourself. Experiment with different styles and have fun with it. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting tutorials.